16.4b equations with exponents, even exponents. Consider 5 squared equals 25 and that negative 5 squared also equals 25. When we clear an exponent, meaning that we're going to take a root, we are going to do plus or minus. Recall that even roots have two possible answers. This is only when we take an even root. So in our first example here, we have the second power, which means we're going to take the square root here. Okay, so we're going to get 5x minus 1 equal to plus or minus 7. We'll add 1 to both sides. Whoops. So now we have 5x equal to, well, 7 plus 1 gives us 8 and a negative 7 plus 1 gives us a negative 6. We're going to divide both of those by 5. And so we're going to get x is equal to 8 fifths and negative 6 fifths. And again, keep up your habit of checking your solutions to make sure that they work. Let's take a look at our second example. We're going to take the fourth root because we have the fourth power. And so we'll get 3x plus 2 equal to plus or minus 3. We'll subtract 2. So we'll get 3x equal to a positive 3 minus 2 would give us 1. A negative 3 minus 2 would give us a negative 5. Divide both of those by 3. And so we get x is equal to 1 third and a negative 5 thirds.